I like Pokemon. Even though I've only played like maybe one and a half games in my entire life. Maybe it's because it reminds me of taxonomy, only more exotic. You have all these different types of animals to discover and like categorize and group, etc, etc. So why not make a video about Pokemon? I mean, this is a variety show after all. Let's go wild. Now I could stay conventional, do like a top 10 favorite Pokemon or something like that. But no, there is a road less traveled by. Top 10 Pokemon with deadest eyes. Number 10, Ducklet. This is the Pokemon that gave me the idea to do this whole top 10 deadest eyes. Look at those staring wooden eyes. Like they're not even alive. This particular especially brings out that glossed over look. No wonder they resort to wearing sunglasses. Sure, they'll beg for bread or peat moss, but then they'll take your soul in the bargain. Number 9. Esper. Now, to be fair, this Pokemon is supposed to have a blank expression, as it's trying to control its psychic power. That's no excuse. Go to counseling or something. I mean, this Pokemon looks like it saw something that totally ruined its childhood, and now nothing affects it anymore. Number 8. Greedent. Its happy, chubby face hides a secret. It's no squirrel. Instead, it's a lost, singing animatron for some terrifying theme park. Bears are not the only thing hidden in its mechanical tail. There, there's probably human re remains back there from cold cases. Stay well clear. Number seven, Ekans. You know, I'm not even sure what's supposed to be the eye. You know, is it, is it this whole thing or just this? Seriously, I mean, even its evolution's false hood face looks more alive than this small snake. Number six, Wulu and Mudbray our first tie. They both suffer from the same problem. They're barnyard animals meant to be cute or something, but instead of normal eyes are given cold-blooded sideways lizard eyes. Now, you could argue that it fits because actual barnyard animals, like goats, have such eyes. But then you look at an actual goat and realize, so what? Real goats are in the running for the top 10 real animals with deadest unnatural eyes, so no dice there. Number 5. Parasect and Sligu. Another tie here. Now, Parasect is well known as being a zombie, having been taken over by the mushroom on its back, which is why it's not higher on the list with those creepy white peeper eyes. But despite having very dead eyes, they're on purpose, so not as jarring as it, they could be. Sligo, on the other hand, while the blank staring green eyes are not quite as unsettling as those white ones, there's not much reason for having such dead eyes. Maybe you just realize that it'll spend its final evolution perpetually covered in snot, and it just zoned out. Number 4. Ice Cube. Wow, when I first saw this Pokemon, I was like, that, that doesn't even look like a Pokemon at all. Especially with its ice face. It's just that, a block of ice. It might have been redeemed by having a noise face with a semblance of reality, but, but no, not even close. Again, that, that head doesn't even look like it goes with the body. Number three, Shinodic. Yeah. I'm going to say Nightmare Fuel right here. It looks like something that pops out of a horror movie right before everything goes wrong. Like Cthulhu wrong. I guess it goes with the Spore territory. I mean, what is it with mushrooms being creepy in Pokemon? I don't know. Number two, Grandpa. You had one job. Be a kindly looking normal type of Grandpa Pokemon. No. Instead, you go with the soulless eyes 
of having no irises again for a Pokemon. And pink? Really, just pink eye of the damned. So before we get to number one, let's have some honorable mentions here. First of all, we have Ditto, because of its dot instead of eyes, and the unsettling nature of the eyes remaining even after transforming. Then we have a trio of similar Pokemon, Slowcoat, Witchcash, and Magikarp for having big white eyes with dots that makes them look, yeah, like there's nothing going on upstairs. Then there is the generic dead-eyed bug look shared by various bug types, Crustle, Wurmple, Suwaddle, and Spinneract. We also have the Pokemon with inanimate object eyes, Sableye, Aegislust, and Genesect. Bidoof. Something's not right there. I don't know what, but something. Not quite as bad as the Greedent animatron, but it's up there. And then we have Arctovish, which has the same problem of the goat eyes as our barnard animals. However, it's a weird backwards fossil fish, so the weird eyes aren't as odd as on a ostensibly otherwise cute barn animal. And then we have the deadest eyes of starter Pokemon. We have Rowlet, who looks like he just has been pounding the energy drinks and is staying upright by caffeine alone. Then Quilladin, which looks like he's dead inside, realizing that he's the worst of the middle stage evolutions ever. And then finally, for Alligator, which actually looks pretty fine. Turns out the final starter evolution stages didn't have particularly dead eyes. Number one, Pelipper. Why? 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 Those eyes make no sense. They don't even look like they should be on any Pokemon, let alone a bird Pokemon. They're just, I, I can't even, what, uh, how? Wingle, how did you go so wrong? Okay, we, we can't leave this poor dead-eyed bird like this. Let's, let's see if we can fix these eyes by putting a different kind of eye on to spruce things up a little bit. Start with like a generic Pikachu eye. Mm. Okay, that didn't work very well. Let's try something else, like maybe like a Sparrow eye. Okay, that's better. Um, let's let's maybe make it a little cooler with something like a Talon flame eye. Eh, okay, it doesn't, doesn't quite work with this bird. Well, let's kind of wrap up with maybe another bird Pokemon like like Swallow. Okay, yeah, that's probably as good as we're gonna get. Any one of those, of course, is many times better than. The terrible actual eye of Pelipper. Please, you can thank me for ruining your childhood games later. For now, what you need to think about is what strange Pokemon top 10 I will do next. Until then, gotta catch yourselves for awesome.